When it comes to sales training, what's one of the biggest secrets that nobody ever tells you? I'm Scott Sullivan Bell. I'm coming to you live from Sacramento, California on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about sales training. Now, here's the thing. Uh, I'm fortunate that I get to work in a bunch of different industries. I'm fortunate that people will get coaching from me, but I see this common thread. The people who pay for their own coaching and pay for their own training, they, they have the capability of standing up and saying, hey, I need some help. Now, where most salespeople struggle is they're afraid to admit that they have more capability. They have more growth. They have more inside of them. They just don't know how to get it out or they don't have the courage to do it. And it could very well be that they've, they've got enough. Uh, I know a sales guy that was in an industry that he could have been making 250, 300 grand a year. And he asked me this question one time when we were working together when a company was paying me. He said, Scott, what's wrong with just making six, you know, uh, six figures a year, 100 grand a year? And I was like, well, you're running the appointments, you're meeting with the people, why not do everything you can to sell them? He's like, well, I don't need to, I, I make enough money, okay? So in his mind, he, he shut down, he, he was as far as he could go. He was here and he probably could like gone through the roof. He could have done a lot more, but what it comes down to for a lot of salespeople is one, they're afraid to ask for help, Two, they're comfortable. They, they don't want any more, they don't need any more in their mind, so they don't push any harder, they don't ask. Uh, you know, and it comes down, there's plenty of great sales trainers out there. There's plenty of great content, but most salespeople, they're, they're like, who should I talk to? Who should I look at? What book should I read? You know, should I, should I buy a book? They're afraid to invest themselves because they're going to make the wrong decision. They run into the same problem that a lot of buyers do when they're out getting bids and talking to a bunch of people. They're scared of making the wrong decision, so they do nothing. So their inaction is action anyway. And I just want to let you know, this is a huge form of self-sabotage. You know, if you really want to learn how to sell more, you really want to learn how to close more deals, you're going to have to put yourself in uncomfortable situations. And that may be calling somebody and saying, hey, what book should I read? That may mean, hey, let me just go on YouTube and find somebody that I like. That may mean, hey, I'm going to go pay for some sales training. But some salespeople are so scared to invest in themselves and make the wrong decision and look at it and go, well, I didn't get anything from it, so I wasted time, energy, and effort. They do the same thing in the closing process. Well, I don't want to put a whole bunch of time, energy, and effort into this buyer if they're not going to buy anything, so then I don't close the deal. So this is a huge problem that salespeople face. Now, if you take a population... The, the whole population of 100% of salespeople, roughly 60% of people in the group should not, they shouldn't be in sales. They shouldn't. They're just not good. They're not ever going to be good. And I would say out of the 40, there's some people in this that they're afraid to reach out and say, hey, can you help me? I'm struggling. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. And if this is you and you're watching this video, ask somebody for help. Ask a manager. Ask a coach. Pay, pay somebody. Pay somebody you work with that's good. Get a hold of somebody who does some sort of coaching and say, hey, look, I really do need some help. It's amazing how often I will go into a building or go into a company and there's salespeople who need help and they will not admit it. They don't want to admit it. They want to look like they're they got like they're they're super strong, and you know it's the ego getting in the way, and the ego of you getting in the way of sales will stop you from closing deals. You got to know when it's time to ask for help. You got to know when you have the capability to rise up. You got to know when you look around and you're like, oh my goodness, I've limited myself out because I'm saying I make enough, I do enough, I try enough, I right. So there is a huge problem in the world of sales. So there you go. If this is you. Find somebody and ask them for help. Find someone who's got a track record in your industry. There's probably, no matter what industry you're in yourself, I don't care if it's cars, I don't care if it's mortgages, I don't care if it's in-home sales, there's somebody out there with a track record. Get a hold of that person and say, hey, look, I'm raising my hand, I need some help. What does it cost? Because here's the one thing that most salespeople don't understand. Let's say that I run 100 sales leads and I close 30 of them, 30%, okay? 30% closing. Well, I still had 70% more of growth and I missed out on that money. I missed out on the capability of taking you know, 10 or 15 or 20 or 30 more leads home or, or sales home. You're missing that money anyway. So why not do everything you can to capture those sales and capture those leads and increase your income? Stick your hand up in the air and say, hey, look, I need some help. I need some coaching. Instead of going, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm straight. I don't, I don't need any help. I, I, you know, the ego is getting in the way and it's stopping you from making income. So there you go. All right, you got one thing to do from here, and that is to hit the subscribe button. It's somewhere here on the side. Like, just click it. Hit subscribe. It might even be down here on the box. Hit subscribe so that way anytime a new video comes out, you get an update on the content. So it'll alert you and say, the YouTube will alert you and say, hey, Scott Sullivan Bell put out a new video, or Scott Bell Consultant put out a new video, you should check it out. Thanks for dropping by. We'll see you soon. Aloha.